Pope Julius III, Latin, Julius III, the 10th of September 1487 to the 23rd of March 1555, born Giovanni Maria Chocchi del Monte, was head of the Catholic Church and ruler of the Papal States from the 7th of February 1550 to his death in 1555. After a career as a distinguished and effective diplomat, he was elected to the papacy as a compromise candidate after the death of Paul III. As Pope he made only reluctant and short-lived attempts at reform, mostly devoting himself to a life of personal pleasure. His reputation, and that of the Catholic Church, were greatly harmed by his scandal-ridden relationship with his adopted nephew. <laughs> <laughs> Education and early career Topic. Giovanni Maria Chocchi del Monte was born in Monte San Savino. He was educated by the humanist Raphael Brandolini Lippo, and later studied law at Perugia and Siena. During his career, he distinguished himself as a brilliant canonist rather than as a theologian. Del Monte was the nephew of Antonio Maria Chocchi del Monte, Archbishop of Manfredonia. 1506 when his uncle exchanged this see for a position as a cardinal in 1511, Giovanni Maria Chocchi del Monte succeeded in Manfredonia in 1512. In 1520, del Monte also became Bishop of Pavia. Popular for his affable manner and respected for his administrative skills, he was twice governor of Rome and was entrusted by the papal curia with several duties. At the sack of Rome 1527, he was one of the hostages given by Pope Clement VII to the emperor's forces, and barely escaped execution. Pope Paul III made him Cardinal Bishop of Palestrina in 1536 and employed him in several important legations, notably as Papal Legate and First President of the Council of Trent and then at Bologna Topic. Papacy Topic. Topic. Election Topic. Paul III died on 10 November 1549, and in the ensuing conclave the 48 cardinals were divided into three factions, of the primary factions, the imperial faction wished to see the Council of Trent reconvened, the French faction wished to see it dropped. The Farnese faction, loyal to the family of the previous pope, supported the election of Paul III's grandson, Cardinal Alessandro Farnese, and also the family's claim to the Duchy of Parma, which was contested by Emperor Charles V. Neither the French nor the Germans favoured Del Monte, and the Emperor had expressly excluded him from the list of acceptable candidates, but the French were able to block the other two factions, allowing Del Monte to promote himself as a compromise candidate and be elected on 7 February 1550. Ottavio Farnese, whose support had been crucial to the election, was immediately confirmed as Duke of Parma. Topic. Church reforms. At the start of his reign Julius had seriously desired to bring about a reform of the Catholic Church and to reconvene the Council of Trent, but very little was actually achieved during his five years in office. In 1551, at the request of Emperor Charles V, he consented to the reopening of the Council of Trent and entered into a league against the Duke of Parma and Henry II of France 1547 causing the War of Parma. However, Julius soon came to terms with the Duke and France and in 1553 suspended the meetings of the council. Julius increasingly contented himself with Italian politics and retired to his luxurious palace at the Villa Giulia, which he had built for himself close to the Porta del Popolo. From there he passed the time in comfort, emerging from time to time to make timid efforts to reform the church through the re-establishment of the reform commissions. He was a friend of the Jesuits, to whom he granted a fresh confirmation in 1550, and through the papal bull, Dum Solicita of August 1552, he founded the Collegium Germanicum, and granted an annual income. During his pontificate, Catholicism was restored in England under Queen Mary in 1553. Julius sent Cardinal Reginald Pole as legate with powers that he could use at his discretion to help the restoration succeed. In February 1555, an envoy was dispatched from the English Parliament to Julius to inform him of the country's formal submission, but the Pope died before the envoy reached Rome. Shortly before his death, Julius dispatched Cardinal Giovanni Marone to represent the interests of the Holy See at the Peace of Augsburg. 
Topic: The Innocenzo scandal. Topic: Julius Papacy was marked by scandals, the most notable of which is centered around the Pope. S. adoptive nephew, Innocenzo Chocchi del Monte. Innocenzo del Monte was a teenage beggar found in the streets of Parma who was hired by the family as a lowly hall boy in their primary residence, the boy's age being variously given as 14, 15 or 17 years. After the elevation of Julius to the papacy, Innocenzo del Monte was adopted into the family by the Pope's brother and, by Julius, was then promptly created cardinal nephew. Julius showered his favorite with benefices, including the commendatario of the abbeys of Mont San Michel in Normandy and Saint Zeno in Verona, and, later, of the abbeys of Saint Saba, Miramondo, Gratiferata and Frascati, among others. As rumors began to circle about the particular relationship between the Pope and his adoptive nephew, Julius refused to take advice. The cardinals Reginald Pohl and Giovanni Carafa warned the Pope of the evil suppositions to which the elevation of a fatherless young man would give rise." Poet Joachim du Bellay, who lived in Rome through this period in the retinue of his relative, Cardinal Jean du Bellay, expressed his scandalized opinion of Julius in two sonnets in his series Less Regrets 1558, hating to see, he wrote, a Ganymede with the red hat on his head. The courtier and poet Girolamo Musio in a letter of 1550 to Ferrandi Gonzaga, governor of Milan, wrote, they write many bad things about this new pope, that he is vicious, proud, and odd in the head." And the pope's enemies made capital of the scandal, Thomas Beard, in the Theatre of God's Judgment 1597, saying it was Julius' custom to promote none to ecclesiastical livings, save only his buggerers. In Italy it was said that Julius showed the impatience of a «lover awaiting a mistress» while awaiting Innocenzo's arrival in Rome and boasted of the boy's prowess in bed, while the Venetian ambassador reported that Innocenzo del Monte shared the Pope's bed, as if he Innocenzo were his Julius's own son or grandson. The charitably disposed told themselves the boy might after all be simply his bastard son. Despite the damage which the scandal was inflicting on the Church, it was not until after Julius' death in 1555 that anything could be done to curb Innocenzo's visibility. He underwent temporary banishment following the murder of two men who had insulted him, and then again following the rape of two women. He tried to use his connections in the College of Cardinals to plead his cause but his influence waned and he died in obscurity. He was buried in Rome in the Del Monte family chapel. One outcome of the cardinal nephew scandal, however, was the upgrading of the position of papal secretary of state, as the incumbent had to take over the duties Innocenzo del Monte was unfit to perform. The secretary of state eventually replaced the cardinal nephew as the most important official of the Holy See. Topic: <laughs> Artistic legacy. Topic: the Pope's lack of interest in political or ecclesiastical affairs caused dismay among his contemporaries. He spent the bulk of his time, and a great deal of papal money, on entertainments at the Villa Giulia, created for him by Vignola, but more significant and lasting was his patronage of the great Renaissance composer Giovanni Pierluigi da Palestrina, whom he brought to Rome as his maestro di cappella, Giorgio Vasari, who supervised the design of the Villa Giulia, and Michelangelo, who worked there. Topic. In fiction Topic. In the novel Q by Luther Blissett, Julius appears toward the end of the book as a moderate cardinal favoring religious tolerance, in the upheavals caused by the Reformation and the Roman Church's response during the 16th century. His election as Pope and the subsequent unleashing of the Inquisition form the last chapters of the novel. Topic. See also Topic. Cardinals created by Julius III Topic. References Topic. Smith, Mark 2002. Julius III. In Levillain, Philippe. The Papacy, Gaius Proxies. Routledge.
O'Malley, John W. 2009. A History of the Popes, From Peter to the Present. Government Institutes. Topic. External links Topic. Pope Julius III at Find a Grave Career of Innocenzo Chocchi del Monte